Hello, good morning, peace be with you. So it's heading for Christmas. Lots of things to do, lots of things to get ready. For me as a Christian, one of the really important things about Christmas is reading again all the Bible stories that lead up to Christmas and the ones that describe Christmas itself. But although I love these stories, I do sometimes get a bit frustrated with them, not because of what's in them, but because of the things that are not in them. I find that as I read those really familiar stories, that I have lots of questions. When that angel went to see Mary, what did it look like? What did his voice sound like? Why did Mary get to see the angel for real, but Joseph only got to see one in a dream? Did Mary have brothers and sisters? What did they think about her being the mother of God's only son? Did they believe what she said? Because of the questions that I have, I sometimes try to imagine what it might have been like for the different characters in the nativity story. So today I'm going to share with you a story that I actually recorded a few weeks ago in my garden. Some of you have heard this story before, but a good story is always worth telling more than once. So this is called the shepherd's nativity. And I imagine that this is how one of the shepherds might have told the story of that first Christmas night years later, perhaps to his grandchildren when he was an old man. It all happened a while ago now, but to me, it's as clear in my mind as if it were yesterday. It was a fine night, clear and cold. The sky was full of bright shining stars and we were out on the hillside as usual. The sheep had been grazing during the day, but now that it was dark, they were all safely gathered into the sheepfold for the night. And we were sat around our campfire, sometimes talking, sometimes just being quiet together. Occasionally a sheep would bleat in the background as a mother and her lamb looked for one another. And we listened out carefully for other sounds, in case there was a wolf or a bear lurking anywhere near, or anything else that might want to take a sheep. It seemed like so many other nights, but then all of a sudden, everything changed. A bright, bright light appeared in the sky, and at first we were scared, not quite sure what we were seeing. And then, well, I guess the others were all thinking what I was thinking. That looks like an angel, but it can't be, can it? But nobody was saying it out loud. Nobody was saying anything out loud. We just sat there, absolutely terrified. And then the angel, because it really was an angel, it spoke and it said, don't be afraid. I am bringing you good news. My heart was beating so fast with fear and excitement. What news could an angel possibly want to give to us, a bunch of shepherds? The angel went on. Tonight in Bethlehem, a baby has been born, the special one from God, the Messiah. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. As soon as the angel said that, the night became as bright as day. At first we were half blinded and couldn't see what was going on. But then music started to come out of the light and we realised that there were lots and lots of angels and that they were singing glory to God and peace on earth. After they'd gone, we just sat there for a while. It's difficult to know what to say when something like that happens. But eventually someone, I don't remember who, said that was a message from God, wasn't it? Let's go down to Bethlehem and see this baby. So off we went, down the hill to the town. It took us a while to find the baby and his family. They weren't in any of the places where you'd expect to find a new baby. But then we remembered. The angel had said we'd find him in a manger. <coughs> and you find mangers in stables and where there are animals. Once we remembered that, we found him quick enough. I remember pausing at the door of the stable. It had a really special feel to it. You just knew as you walked in that this was no ordinary baby, no ordinary family. 
The baby's mum looked so young and so tired. She told us later that they'd travelled a long way to get there and it had been a hard journey. She looked happy though. She had a kind of glow about her that some people get when they are full of deep, deep joy. In fact, that joy was in the whole stable. And I know this sounds odd, but even the animals, the cow and the donkey, they had it too. We looked at the tiny new baby. Jesus, his name was. Us, a bunch of ordinary shepherds. And him? Well, the angels had said he was the Messiah, God's special one, the one that our people had been waiting for for so long. Could it possibly be true? We looked at that tiny person, and I felt the joy that was all around fill me too. And in that moment, I was on my knees by the manger. Then, the baby, Jesus, opened his eyes. He looked straight at me as I knelt by his side, and I felt surrounded by love and so peaceful. We stayed a while, my fellow shepherds and I. But eventually, we began to make our way back to the sheep. By then the town was starting to wake up and we told everyone we met what had happened about the angels and the baby and everything. I hope some of them went to see him too because there was something in that stable that night that was just too good to keep to ourselves. I hope you enjoyed the story. As ever, I'm going to finish off with a prayer and as ever, if you would like to make that prayer your prayer, feel free to say Amen at the end. Father God, as we enjoy all the good things that come with Christmas, we give you thanks for our families, our friends, food and presents. And we ask you to help us to remember that first Christmas, to remember the simple place where Jesus was born, all the people who played a part in his story, and the fact that he came to earth because he loves each and every one of us. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.